Hey everyone, Brian Lagunas here. And in this video, I wanted to tackle a question that I got uh, probably two days ago from a fellow developer, right? WPF developer. And they wanted to ask, they're like, hey Brian, how on earth do you replace the WPF system context menu with your own custom context menu? Now specifically what they were talking about is when you're showing a WPF application and you, you have the main window, right? And then you wanna right click on the title of that window, you'll get the system menu, okay? And this menu will have options such as, you know, move, minimize, maximize, restore, close, things like that. Well, this person wanted to hide that menu and they wanted to show their own custom context menu, but they were having problems. They were trying to do everything in XAML and it just wasn't working for them. Well, luckily for them, I actually know how to do this. So I figured I would share my solution. So without further ado, roll the intro. Here we have a very simple WPF application running. When I right click on the window, I will see the default system menu, which gives me options such as move, size, minimize, maximize, and close. What I wanna do is replace this menu with my own custom context menu. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing we need to do is create a context menu. I'm gonna do this as a resource on the window. So let's create a context menu. We'll give it a key since this is a resource. I'll just call it context menu. And then we're gonna to wanna to add some menu items. We'll set the header to something simple like item one. And let's just add three of these items on there and update the headers accordingly. Next, when I click on this uh, context menu, I want something to happen. So we're gonna add a menu item dot click handler. And in this event handler, we're simply going to create a variable to hold the item that was clicked. In this case, we're gonna grab the original source from the routed event args. We're gonna cast that as a menu item. And once we have the menu item, let's do something simple like message box show. And then what shall we show? How about item dot header uh, what's clicked? Something like that sounds good. Now, obviously the next step would be to actually show our context menu. But before we do that, we have to understand something about how WPF windows work. When you look at a WPF window, there's actually multiple parts to a window. The main part is the client area of the window, of the WPF window. The client area is the area of the window in which, in which uh, we can actually manipulate with XAML and C Sharp. So in this case, we see window content. This is in the client area of the window. However, Outside of that is referred to as the non-client area of the window. And this is where when we right click, this is where our, our menu or the system menu is shown. This is not a menu that we can control with XAML. Because this is the non-client area of the window, we actually have to use the window interop. So let's go ahead and start working on that code. Let's start by adding an event handler to the loaded event of the window. Once we have this, we actually want to grab the handle of this window. What I mean by that is we need to grab the uh, int pointer. So we'll say int pointer, window handle equals new. And this is where we have to utilize some window interop helpers. Window interop helper. We'll add our using statement. We'll pass in this instance, this, this window instance is what we want to get the handle from. Once we have this handle, now what we wanna do is we wanna grab the hwin source. So we'll define an hwin source. hwin source equals hwin source from hwin. And we're gonna pass in the window handle. Now that we have the source, we're going to hook into the Windows messaging loop. To do that, we're gonna grab the hwin source. We're gonna add a hook. In this case, we're going to add a new hwin source hook. And then we're gonna pass in a method that will be called, which we'll call winproc. And then we will generate the method winproc. 
Within this method, we're going to be listening for Windows messages. Essentially, whenever something occurs in an application, in a Win32 application, the Windows message loop sends messages throughout the application. And we're going to intercept those messages and handle them and show our uh, context menu based on that logic. So we're going to return an int pointer dot zero by default. Now, what we want to do is we want to listen for the right click or right button down message uh, for that title bar. So to do this, we're going to check, we're going to say if message equals 0xA4. This is the message ID of the right button down. Now, you're going to ask me, well, Brian, how do you know that? Well, easy. I went to www.pinvoke.net and I looked at the Windows messaging constants. And all I did was I searched for the button down and I see left button down, M button down. I can keep scrolling down. Nope, not what I'm looking for. I Right here, I am looking for the NCR right button down. So that's 0xA4 and it explains that this message is posted when the user presses the right mouse button while the cursor is within the non-client area of a window. That is exactly what we want. So we're going to close that. And so we know that if we're in the non-client side area and it's the right button, we're going to handle this. In this case, we're going to call a method called show context menu. And we'll go ahead and generate that method here. And in this method, what we want to do is we're going to grab our context menu from our resources that we defined. And I believe we call it context menu was the key that we gave it. And this is indeed a context menu. Once we have this context menu, we can set the is open equal to true. Now, if we run this as is, we're going to notice that when we right click on here, uh, something didn't seem to happen. Like what, what happened here? I kind of see, I, I kind of see our context menu, but the other menu still shows up. The system menu still shows up. Why does that happen? Well, let's go ahead and stop the application. And that's because the message continues to be processed. What we want to do is prevent the system menu from showing. In this case, we're going to mark that message or this event here as handled. So we're going to say handled equals true. So let's run the application again. Now on a right click, we will get our context menu and hide or prevent the system menu from showing. And of course, when I click on the items, we will get the item two was clicked. So our event handler invokes just as we would expect. Now we're not quite done yet because all we did was we checked to make sure that we were uh, within, you know, just, just pressing the right button down. And that could be anywhere in the non-client area. However, I actually want to make sure that we are in the title or the header of the window and not just anywhere in the window. So what we're going to do with this is we're going to do, we're going to add a condition to this if statement. We're going to check the param uh, and we're going to convert this to int 32. So we say w param to int 32 equals, and then it has to equal something. In this case, it's going to be 0x02. Now this here, this represents a hit test in the title bar of the window. Uh, a very common way to handle these actually is to create constants. So we'll pre create a private const of a uint and we'll call this window message underscore n c r button down. Now by convention, these are all caps. And then we'll set this equal to 0x0a4. We will replace our hard-coded value here with our constant. We will create another constant of a uint. In this case, ht for hit test caption, because this is the caption area. Okay, so 0x02. And of course, we'll take the hit test caption and replace there. We'll run our application and we'll notice that it still works as expected. 
However, it will only show if we're in the caption area or title bar of the window. If we click off to the right here, and we right click, nothing will happen. We will not get our menu uh, as opposed to if we didn't add that hit test check, we would have. And that's it. That's how easy it is to show a custom context menu on the non-client area of a WPF window.